Damien! You can't do this to yourself! It is suicide! I don't understand why you don't want to accept my own solution. Because your solution is no solution. It would only create problems. Damien, you are wrong! Is it not the same thing that everybody wants? I can't see how this will create a problem. Or are you no longer a man? Please. Please. Don't insult me under my roof. Have I made myself clear? Who is insulting you? Who is insulting you? You have not begun to look for who and who is insulting you. But it is you who is insulting yourself the most. You know, I thought this was an ordinary visit. I didn't know that it was going to turn into something quite different. Damien, please. Please, let me be. Let me be, please. All right. I will let you be. I will even leave this house that you're making so much noise about. But let me warn you, as long as this problem persists, I will continue to be on your neck until a solution is found. Interest at heart at all times, and we pray that the Almighty God will enable us to achieve our goals in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Look, David, the tail is going to work. Let's see how it goes. Here they come, my pair of beauties. That's <laughs> oh, good girl. Mm. You're welcome. Sit down. Wow. Levy, these are the pair of beauties I've been telling you about. Mm. <laughs> the lovely things I've been waiting for. Right. <laughs> Girls, meet my friend. David, but I call him Heavy D. <laughs> Heavy D. Miss Sonia. You feel it? How do you do? How do you do? Very well. Heavy D. Yeah. You see, 
This is where I come to catch my phone sometimes. It's a nice place, it's a very nice place. <laughs> What are you reading, Becky? African stories. African stories. Let me see your email. Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Let me ask you first, Omeka. Who is a leader? A leader is a person who shows the way and hmm? a leader is a person. Okay, okay. You don't know it. You answer it. Well, who is a leader? A leader is a person who shows the way and sets the pace for other people to follow. Very good, very good. And you, who is a follower? A, a follower is a person who follows someone else because he believes in the ideas of that person. Of the leader? Very good. Very good. I'm very impressed. Okay, you can have your notebook. Not enough. We seek out. Twenty thousand naira each for our prize last time. What? For just a few hours of your time? Mm, oh, girl, I love the smell of that. That's what I've been telling you. Spending time with all these young boys is a complete waste of time. The money bags are the married men. They take better care of their women. And still drown you in money. <laughs> yeah. I still don't understand the two of you. And what is it you don't understand? Listen, this is so simple. Besides, I've just been convinced. Once you attach yourself to a married man, you make him to want to spend yes. and spend and spend. <laughs> Rub it in. And only then, my dear, have you successfully held him down. Yeah. Well, um, as I've seen this one, I'm sure. Where's the apple? Monkey, the walk, I put the chop. Come on, sir! Uh, girl, come girl. On, girl. No, 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 girl, come. How are you doing to your girl like this guy thing now? No, seriously. Hello, my angels. Hey, how are you, Hello, sweetie? Welcome. Oh, yes, every boy, how are you? Welcome, dear. Thank you very much. How was your day? Very well. Ah, uh, sorry? Mm. I had to come home late, so I had to sort out a few things, mm. okay? Daddy, you are late for supper, we have been waiting. Oh, my boy, I'm really sorry, okay? I'm really sorry to have kept you waiting. Unfortunately, Daddy is not hungry. So you know what you do? You go have your meal with Mommy and your sister, okay? While Daddy goes into fresh air, okay? Mommy, isn't Daddy hungry today? I don't know. I don't know for you, Daddy. But don't worry. Come, come and eat. Becky, come on, let's eat. Okay? I have lost appetite. I don't feel like it. Why? Because your daddy is not eating. Mm. Daddy's girl. Uh, how are you? How is it family? You are fine. You are fine. Are you sure, my sister? You look haggard and unwell. What is the problem? Well, you are right. I'm having problems with my husband. I made a parish priest to pray for me. But he advised me to join the Kali Women Organization. That is why I came. Mrs. Hassan, I told you this a long time ago. 
joined the Catholic Women Organization. But you told me you are too occupied establishing your business. Now, a problem has come. And you lack the spiritual background to tackle it. Have you seen it? Mrs. Adedeji, I promise to involve myself in whatever the Catholic Women Organization is doing. But please just help me to be a member and you will see. Okay, come, let's go. Let's go. Sonia, what do you want me to say? Say something now. You say me. Do you mean you're leaving? Talk me. Again. Aren't you deciding on this um, traveling thing too quickly? We've been over this so many times. We finished our final exam since last month. What am I still doing here? Look, we just feel you should give this traveling thing a second thought before making that decision. Sonia, I've given you enough thought already. Enough? This is what I want to do, trust me. Okay. Anything else? But girl, now you're traveling, um, what is the real situation going to be like? Money matter. Ha! Thanks, the boys. See that let's Money matter. How like me? executive meeting will be on the 22nd of this month. I'd like everybody to bear it in mind. Veronica, I have known you for some years now, and I know the level of commitment you showed towards the activities in this parish. But all that seems to be changing. You were absent at the last meeting. I came late to this one. What is the problem? You are saying the truth, madam. I'm going through a lot at the moment. But I can't hope things may change for the better all the time. Amen. It's so obvious that you have any problem. What is it? Well, I don't know how you will see it. I don't think it is wise to bother you with my problems. Vero, I want you to feel free with me. Whatever you tell me here is safe, okay? Well, it's my husband. Your husband? Yes, he has suddenly changed. His attitude towards me, towards the children, to in short, the whole family. The lecturer is a very kind woman, so she let us all have a taste. Oh, and uh, you, you are very sure you, you had some left for those who hadn't tasted it before? <laughs> ah, ah, daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, Jane. Yes, ma'am. Go and get the Bibles and the prayer books. Let's pray before we get too sleepy. Okay, that is already yawning. <laughs> I came 
good afternoon, my children. How was your day in school? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. Daddy, Papa, Daddy, Sam, Daddy, Holy Ghost, come down. 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 Responsibilities. Uh, yes, you know. David, this is an old excuse. Am I not a married man myself? You see, the secret is to interlace both lifestyles perfectly, and you will now see that the both sides are enjoyable. Fantastic, Fabian. You know, you know, you know how to. <laughs> okay, okay. That is me. Fantastic, Fabian. You know we'll have an appointment with those girls too. You will see me tomorrow morning, man. I'm there, man. And move, move before my wife comes out, man. She... Fantastic Vivian. Vivian. <laughs> Fantastic Vivian. Ha! <laughs> Everything. <laughs> what do you do? Remember now thy creator in the days of the youth. No chance I can't believe you could give us such a good amount of money. Yeah. I mean, I just met the guy. <laughs> now I'm beginning to see more you feel than I have been talking about. I'm out of the young men racket, you know. Married men take better care of their women. <laughs> yeah, it's not as if I don't know that. Mm -hmm. But when you're into a young man, your your options are open. You're hoping that something permanent, you know, might crawl up from there. You know what I mean. Right what? But with this family man, you know, that is a total different story. Says who, Topman? Says who? You know, you sound like a maiden from the 12th century. Haven't you heard of the word divorce? I mean, why would I want to attach myself to a young man that would take me through years of stress before he makes money? That is, if he will, hopefully. <laughs> not fully, not the small. <clears throat> Do you like David? Do I like him? Well, his hands are open. Very generous hands, I must say. I think I like him. I think I like him. Then go get him, girl. Naughty, naughty. Welcome. <laughs> I'm so happy at the change of my husband. But I couldn't wait until tomorrow's meeting to see you and express my gratitude. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. It's only God who will take all the glory. Yes. I thank God. Ne, I hope you don't mind my asking you this. How did you come up with those wise ideas? My sister, it was not me. It was God Almighty. While I was thinking about my husband's sudden change, an idea occurred to me. Some women are passing through these problems every day. Yes, people are around us. But I don't know how you feel if someone pleads with you to cancel them and that. Vero, I understand you. 
But there are certain things you have not put into consideration. Oh, my dear, don't mind me. I even failed to consider your own timetable. No, it is not just the timetable. You know, a lot of people would not want anybody to know anything about their family problems. For some good reason, you know. That's true, that's true. You made a point. You made a point. Well, then, I will always tell them to see the parish priest. But, you know, some women feel free with another woman over some types of problems. Anyway, I'm always at the morning mass. You are wonderful. God bless you. God will bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Uh, Nama, I brought the papers I couldn't bring the day I was absent. Okay, let me see them. Girl, it's time, let's go. Go, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, you guys have fun. Uh, but I thought we were all supposed to go out together. No, you're having your own dinner here. Every day, day. Dinner? Yeah. Catch your phone, my brother. It will require an experience. <laughs> you sure will. Yeah. Come, let's move this Welcome party you. into the house. Help me out here. Responsible to you. You better stop that rubbish. I'm Foolish sorry. girl. Why have you chosen me before these children this morning? What? I embarrass you. You, David. You kept me awake all night, half mad with worry, over God knows where you could have been. Only for you to return here, come back here from God knows where, to tell me, to inform me, to remind me that I am embarrassing you, David. How are you? I'm fine though. How is the baby and his father? Ah, they are fine. I thank God. Madam, there was this announcement that was made in the meeting yesterday by Madam Veronica Dedeji. Your name was mentioned in it. Yes. Madam, you see, everyone in this parish knows you as a good person. And I know I can confide in you. But I come to think of it. How am I going to come to you? How am I going to disturb you with my own problems? I thought so many things. But when I saw you at mass this morning, I decided to wait so that I could talk to you. Well, my dear, I'll tell you this from the bottom of my heart. You can trust me. But I don't profess to have all the answers. 
I'll prefer if you can talk to our parish priest because I can only advise and hope for the best. I understand. I really understand. But then, it has always been a burden on my mind. Well, how are you? My dear, how are you? Fine, uh, Your father has gone to office. Yes, ma. What about your mother? She's not back from money mass. Hmm. Money mass. As usual. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Mommy, where is she? Um, her name is Euphemia. Okay. Uh, she came with me from the village. Okay. And uh, she's going to be your husband's wife. Exactly what I said. Now, uh, show us where to unpack. We want to have a bath. Okay. All right. You slept out last night and came back to your house this night. Tell me, what is wrong with that? Everything is wrong with it. Ophelia, let me tell you. It is much more than what you think. Dave, it is all your fault. Is it not you who told us home immediately after the close down of the market? Now, they've seen it as their bed right. Imagine. Neck a shouting like that. Simply because you had a night out. Listen, Fabian. You don't seem to understand what's going on here. It wasn't just a night out. A night outside my matrimonial home with another woman? There you go again. Hmm? There you go again. Have it your own way. Okay, okay. Go on. Crucify yourself. And now, kill yourself. How was today? Fine. Has your mom returned from the office yet? No, she's not here back. Dad, you won't believe what happened today when you left for work. What happened? What? Where are they now? They are the backyard. Take this out for me. the meaning of this why have you come to destroy my home what home have you got without a son Damien this is why I am making all efforts to solve your problem for you you solve my problem have you been able to solve your own problems this is what our parents would have done had they been alive this is why I am making your problem my problem. And you? Who are you? <clears throat> I am Euphemia, sir. Euphemia Wachbu from Uru Nebo Village. Very well. Euphemia, or whatever you call yourself. I want you to know that you are not welcome in my home. 
I want you also to pack your things and leave this house before evening or I will throw you out myself. You will do nothing of the sort. She is staying. I will not let you do a foolish thing like that. Eunice, all right. We shall see. We shall see nothing. Are you still brooding? Eh? So I, I've told you, don't let the manner of his departure bother you. From what I make of him, he's one of these married men that are not used to keeping mistresses. I think so too. I'm sure of that, I'm sure. I'm sure you like him. <laughs> yes. Then hold on to him. Don't let him sleep away. I'm in this business with you. Trust me. Eh? Um, I have to cut some things. I have it. I want to serve. Come on, eat. When troubles come around you, I say, never give up. When trials come around you, never, never give up, my brother. You let me hear you say, never give up. When troubles come around you, Please don't do this to yourself. Things are not what they should be at the moment. But starving yourself in addition is not going to help matters. in the dining. Yes. Then bring my food here. And I have my food. David. Go into the kitchen, cook your food, and come and sit down and eat it. And I should go to the kitchen, cook my own food? Me, David, to go to the kitchen and cook my own food? Or better still, that place you went to that you spent all night and you forgot to call your wife. Hmm? Go back there, ask them to give you food. Let's sit down and eat it. Now this is to be better. Let me tell you something. This attitude of yours is becoming very unbearable. Right? And if you're not careful, if you continue this way, I'll be forced you to handle you. I will handle you. You cannot do anything. Your parents will not you do it. Now, will you get off of here? You can't get off of here. You can't get off of here. You can't get off of here. You feel me? What is the matter? Why are you looking so worried? Haven't I told you that everything is going to be all right? Eh? Don't worry. Mama, please. This whole thing is beginning to bother me. I don't want to constitute a nuisance or an unwelcome member of this family. You are not an unwelcome member in this family. Is it not I who brought you here myself? Don't worry about my brother's behavior. He's only been misled by his wife and daughter. You will see everything is going to be fine. Trust me. Hmm? Do you understand? Yes, Mama. So what is your problem? Why would you let my phone rest? Um, I wanted to apologize for assuming you wanted to spend the night in. But you could have done that on the phone. No, David, I wanted to apologize to you in person, rather than across phone lines. I'm very sorry, David. 
to never happen again. Well, it's all right. I forgive you. So can I go now? You haven't forgiven me yet, David. David, I'm sorry. I will never demand more of your time than you're willing to give me. Parents are dead. You are my only brother. Your wife has found it difficult to conceive long after she had Jane. And she's fast approaching menopause. Do you think about all these things? Yes, of course. And what are your conclusions? I am waiting on God. Abraham and Sarah had their own son when both of them were over childbearing age. You are not Abraham and your wife is not Sarah. And you are forgetting Hagar who had Ishmael before Isaac was born. Damien, heaven help those who help themselves. Yes. Listen. Euphemia is a very good girl. She comes from a very good family. You know them. She's well educated and she's well behaved. And as you can see, she's not one of these uh, 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 fly-by-night girls of these days. Now you listen, my sister. I am a married man and I shall have nothing to do with her. God will give me my own son at his own time. Alright. I thank you very much. But at God's own time, I shall have my own son. Good day. Thank you, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. I didn't hear a car call me. How would you? When you spent all day lost in thought. But mom, what am I supposed to do? This thing grandma does bothers me so much. I hope it doesn't affect your studies. Don't worry, don't worry. God is going to answer our prayers very soon, okay? Yes, mom. But how do you manage to go? You're just as pleasant as usual. My dearest, there is no reason for me to allow anybody to make me unpleasant to people. It's not as if it's not bothering me. It is. But I don't want it to distract me. By the way, have you had lunch? No, Mom. Okay. Let's go and look for something to cook and eat, okay? Give me a book. Bring the chair. Mega. I still remember all the things you did to help me when I was having problems with my husband. That is why I'm assuming you will not misunderstand me. If I ask you once again, what the problem is between you and David? Hmm? To be honest with you, I really do not know what the problem is. I just woke up one morning to discover that my husband had been coming home late from work. 
When I tried to put a stop to it, it, it just got worse. Eh? Every day. He even spent a night out of the house, very. What happened next happened in your presence now. How are you, my dear? I'm very fine, ma. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Mama, I came to ask for your permission. I would like to go and see some of my old classmates in town. You, you know, I really get bored sitting at home all day. But I promise to come back on time. It's alright. You can go. Thank you. But make sure you get back before it gets dark. Oh, my promise I will. I will. Thank you, ma. Oh. Thank you, mama. Greet everybody at home. Mama, remember, our next visit to the family is on the second. Don't forget. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I almost forgot. Hey, no, ma. There is something I want to discuss with you. What is it? There is this my neighbor who seriously needs your advice. Vero, please. If it's about a family problem, let the person see our parish priest. Please. Please, I don't think she can. Why not? She's not a Catholic. Oh, but she's a very nice person. So telling her to come for morning mass so we can see is even out of the question. That's true. That's true. Please, can we come and see her too? Maybe during the weekend. Ferro. Yes. All right. All right, but you have to tell me exactly when you're coming. Because I'm hardly free these days. All right, say, that's very kind of you. Thank God. Okay, greet your family for me. Thank you, madam. Yes. <laughs> All right. Who was that? What is this? <laughs> Girls, please. Can you give a sister a hug here? You, you feel me? What, what is this first? This is my camouflage. Camouflage? How? Yes, my dear. For what? Well, it's my tortoise, and it's working bit by bit. You see, when I got back to the village, I put up the appearance of an innocent girl. <laughs> Still on sport by the razzmatazz of the campus life. An interesting offers began to materialize. You don't see. I took one up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's from the sister of a rich architect. Desperate that I become her brother's second wife. Just to bear him a son. <laughs> I kind of like the old man though, but you know he's this conservative type. I think I need something to sway him with. Maybe someone to cook me up some jazz. <laughs> you know, girl, I have been thinking in that line too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In that case, there's this place a friend of mine told me about a few days ago. A man's strength is force. A woman's strength is persuasion. You left your own strength and encroached into his. That was a mistake. Always persuade your man to see his mistakes whenever he does wrong. Never be forceful. Do you understand me? Yes. You will have to pray the novena to the Blessed Virgin Mary for me. Yes. A prayer for a happy family. A novena? Yes. Mm -hmm. Novena is a prayer said across nine days for the attainment of a particular objective. Please, give her this. 
I know you may harbor some doubts as to its efficacy. But don't worry. Try it. You'll see how much it will help you. Thank you. Good evening. Where are you coming from? At this time of the night. At this time of the night? It's just past 8 o'clock. Just past 8 o'clock? Huh? Do you know for how long I've been home? And in whose care did you leave the children? The children? But Rebecca is old enough to take care of herself and... How oh, dare you! You hit me. And I'll hit you again! One more word! Why are you going to come back here? Come back here and argue with me! Come, let's go and take our bath. We're already running late for school. I don't want. I will call daddy. Has daddy woken up? Yes, why? I want to ask daddy why he beat mom. And I can no! 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 If you do this, daddy will flog you. But daddy beat mom. We don't know why daddy has started to beat mom. Uh -huh. And what we have to do is to watch him and understand why. Then we will know what to do. No, come, let's go. Stick to your faith, be strong, never give up. When troubles come around you, and I say, never give up. When trials come around you, never, never give yeah, up, my sir. brother. Let me hear you say, never give up. When troubles come around you, um, please, Sammy, I say... Excuse me. Please go away. You are a distraction. Never give up. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Never give up. Who Stick to your faith. Stick to your faith. Be strong. Be strong. Never give up. Never give up, my brother. Stick to your faith. Stick to your faith. Never, never give up. Can I have a word with you? Mommy, you're free to talk to me whenever you like, ma. Huh? Just like you. Uchi, do you know that you are the best wife? Any man can marry. Thank you, ma. <laughs> I hope you will not uh, mistake my activities. Mommy, your activities are quite clear. No one can mistake them. Hmm. You may think I have come to destroy your home. No. I am only trying to play safe. So that my father's lineage will not be wiped out. So, mommy, what you're saying is that you've completely given up hope on my having a son. No, Uche, no. What am I, I am saying now is, if you eventually have a son, then we will have two. Which is better than waiting for you and not having any son. Well, Mama, you've completely assessed the situation from a human point of view. You totally forgot about God's own point of view. And that is the most important. Excuse me, Mama. Never give up. When trouble. Let me see your right palm. This way. You want this man. You want to become his second wife. For you to bear him a son. Yours. You are so desperate. You don't want to share him with another woman. 
you really want him to yourself alone? Yours. <laughs> I see. You brought them, yet no burning desire. What you girls want of me is not easy. But it can be handled. How? Persistence. Persistence. And it will cost you a lot of money. and cut the demand you say something your sight disgusts me please just get out go Sometimes I wonder the kind of person you are. What concerns you with her problem? Jane, I keep telling you to always be at peace with people. Always. I'm off to work. I hope you're not going to be late for your lectures. I want to. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Have you asked yourself what will be your end? Destroying other people's homes, carrying diseases up and down. I've been here for some time now. Where are you going to We left early to visit a friend. You forgot us now. No, 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 come on, sorry, I don't sound that way. I couldn't have. Just I've been very busy. But it does sound this morning I felt the urge to. See, I'm being with my top you know. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Well then, I think I'm going to spend an ample time with you girls today. Yeah. Well, um, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> While the evil days come, not now the years draw nigh. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You go up and down, wasting your life. Culinating joy. Ah, this area. Welcome, my dear. How are your friends? Yeah, all fine. Uh, uh. Uh, what is the matter? Mama, I don't know what I did to Jane. Despite all my efforts for us to be friends, she keeps making life miserable for me. Just a few minutes ago, I came in and I greeted her. She ignored me totally. She didn't even bother to look at me. You feel me? Yeah. Have I not told you that I will address this matter? Mama, please, you have to make it faster. She's getting worse by the day. Where is she now? In the sitting room. You wait for me here. Hmm? I'll be back soon. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Jane! What 
what is the meaning of the horrible manner in, in which you, you treat your father's wife? You must stop it, you hear me? Grandma, in my opinion, you really should consider yourself very lucky mm? that my parents are mild people. Otherwise, you will not be here trying to intimidate everyone into doing what they don't want. Mm? But please, advise her to keep out of my way so that things don't go wrong one of these days. Hey, excuse me. Again. Stop right there. I said stop. This is a very serious matter, Damien. Very complicated. Yes, what is it? Separate your sister and the girl from your wife and daughter. If you don't do it, there will be no peace in your home. That is true. Tell mommy and daddy. I'm sorry. Promise me you won't do it again. I promise. Are you sure? Yes. Let me see your hand. Stop touching it. Stop touching it. Oh, mother of perpetual hell, have mercy on the souls in purgatory. And especially those who are most devoted to thee. Let us pray. O Mother of Perpetual Help, O Thou who dost never abandon thy children, and helpest them perpetually in life, in death, and even in purgatory itself. Behold here at thy feet, poor sinners, who filled with confidence have recourse to thee and give themselves to thee. Many and great are the sins we have committed. We hope, O oh dear Mother, that they have been forgiven. But we do not know if we have done for them the penance due, and it is likely that we may have to continue expatiating them in purgatory. Ah, if such would be our lot, do not cease to visit us in that terrible prison. Console us, then, and alleviate our pains. Finally, dear Mother, be our perpetual help until seeing us in heaven praising thee and singing of thy mercies for all eternity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen.
Stick to your faith. Be strong. Never give up. Yes, madam, there are. Hmm? There are. Hmm. Even the novena worked wonders. Yesterday night that we completed it, my husband came home early. And for the first time in a very long while, we all had supper together. Praise the Lord. Uh, that reminds me, you told me you prayed together as a family. Well, not all the time. Listen, Neka, ensure that your whole family prays together at least once a day. It is a very strong bond. And I would like you to bear this cardinal rule in mind. Never be unpleasant to your husband whenever he comes home. Even when he does something wrong. Don't be unpleasant to him. I told you this the last time you came here. Yes, you did. you did. And I'm saying it again for emphasis. Never be unpleasant to your husband, even when he does something wrong. If you do, you will be pushing him out of the home environment, into the waiting arms of women of low virtue. Yes, but how else will I let him know that he has offended me? Neka discussed the matter with him at a very later time, when tempers must have cooled. But don't postpone it for too long so that he doesn't forget the topic. Okay? Yes, I do. Thank you very much, madam. You're welcome. Thank you. I have to be good. I know. I know. I just came to let you know of the latest development. You did very well. Holiday. Yes. Take this. This is the female version of it. If he tests it in his food or drink, he has become yours. And when you complete the payment, I shall give you something that will hold him for a lifetime. Thank you. Euphemia. Amen. Your own man is without blemish. I cannot begin to work on him. Make him commit a sin that will stay him in the spirit. Then I can work on him. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll try. So, my brother, that is how it went. Uh, mm -hmm. This is interesting. Mm. Um, there's been something I've been trying to discuss with you. What is it? You know, you were complaining about how um, Jane mm -hmm. treated you and uh, Euphemia. I have been thinking about it and I've taken a decision. Uh -huh. To separate you and Euphemia from Uche and Jane so that there'll be peace in this house. Mm -hmm. So how um how do you intend going about it? I have decided that you and Euphemia should move to the boys' quarters. I and Euphemia to move to the boys' quarters. Damien, I, your sister, to move to the boys' quarters. Hey! God, what have I done? Oh! <laughs> when troubles come around you, don't worry, never give up. Stop killing when yourself with this constant thinking. Mm, sweetheart, everything is going to work itself out, okay? My dear, things seem to be getting worse. Is that why you're not talking to anyone? Honey, you're not helping yourself. I'm very worried. 
very, very worried. So your sister has refused to move to the boys' quarters with your female. Maybe Jen and I will move over there. Now listen, my dear. You and Jane are my wife and a child. I cannot allow you to move to the boys' quarters. I can't. Understand the problem. That is why I'm suggesting that your wife and child should move over there. With time, your sister will live with Euphemia and we will move back inside. This house belongs to us. They are my visitors. So, please, I want peace to reign. Please. Sometimes. Really, sometimes I do wonder what stuff you've made of. But God knows that I'm grateful that you are my wife. Okay, get up, get up, get up. I know it's time for bed, but let's pray first, okay? And he join us. Let's pray. No, I'm sorry. I'm really very tired. I need to go to bed. It will be just short prayers. No, you can pray with kids. Time. <laughs> What's happening? Dad just said I should pack my things over to the boys' quarters. He said it was a decision he reached with you. That's true, Jane. I've already moved most of my things there. What? Mama, could you? What are you trying to become? A living saint or what? How could you do that? Jane, it is in everybody's best interest. No, 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 Mom. It is in their own best interest. You've left the house for them. And now they'll have complete uninhibited access to Dad. You've sabotaged yourself. You will not understand, Jane. No, Mom. It is you who doesn't understand. So, Madam, that is why I brought him home myself. To bring the matter before his parents. Since the beginning of the week, he has been fighting and beating up his classmates. Today's case was the worst. Mm -hmm. He nearly beat a female classmate of his into unconsciousness. What? Emeka. So this is what you do, eh? This is this is what you do. This is what you do, eh? Okay. And if his behavior doesn't improve, the headmaster might have to summon you the parents to expel him. Eh? Rebecca. Yes, why didn't you tell me about this? Or didn't you know about it? Mommy, I'm hearing it for the first time. She may not have heard of it. Okay. Go and bring my phone from the room. Your father must hear about this. Now. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, your father must. Oh, yeah. Drop this now. Drop this. Drop this. Drop this. Put it down. Come on. Kneel down here. Kneel down. Kneel down. Silly. Just look at you. You know, I think you are right. In that case, I'll have to go and shop for something suitable. I will drink to that. <laughs> will you lose your hands with your pocket, my friend? So this is what you do in school? Huh? By the time I'm through with you, you will know that that wasn't what I sent you to school to do. Like I can't get the Dad, you want to flog me? I will flog you thoroughly! You can't flog me. Emeka! Then I can't flog you. Because you do the same thing I did in school. You fight and beat. I mean, I fight and beat. You fight and beat, mommy.
children now and um, please, I'm looking for Mrs. Ifejika. Mrs. Ifejika? Yes. Um... Mama! <laughs> hey, my dear. Welcome. Thank you, Mama. Uh, Thank this you. is Mrs. Ifejika. Um, I'm sorry. She's not the one I was introduced to as Mrs. Ifejika. Oh. The woman I'm looking for um, is the leader of a women's organization. The Catholic Women organization. Uh, yeah. She lives in the boys' quarters at the back. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Mama. <laughs> Mama, I bought all of them. Eh? Mm -hmm. Come and show me. No, no, Mama, not here now. Somebody might just walk in. <laughs> directed me to this place, I began to understand. You help other women solve their problems, and yet you bear yours with such fortitude. My sister, what else can I do? You are a remarkable woman. Let's just say, everybody has his or her own problems. But the only difference there is the magnitude. True. Madam, my son came back from school today with his teacher. His teacher came to complain that this boy has been beating and fighting his classmates. <laughs> and when his father tried to discipline him, he told his father that he cannot beat him. That he learned how to beat people from when his father beats up his mother. And what did the father do? Oh, in fact, that is why I'm here. His father has accused me of inciting his children against him and threatened me. In fact, I'm so confused. Anyway, by the time the man left the house, I didn't know what to do. I tried to see Mrs. Adediji. She's not around. So I decided to come and tell you about it. Mrs. Sokolo, I hope you did not beat your son when the father left. No, I did not. Better. Because this is beyond corporal punishment. The poor boy sees both of you as his role models. And you're guilty of the same offense he was about being punished for. What is your name, my son? My name is Emeka. Emeka. Has anyone ever told you that fighting is bad? Speak up! Yes. You are a child of God, aren't you? Yes. Children of God do not fight. If you fight, you go to hellfire. Mm. I know you want to go to heaven. You want to go to heaven? Yes. Good. You should stop fighting, okay? Yes. That's my boy. Good evening, sir.
Yes, what is it? Ah, well, I thought you might want company. Eunice, my sister! Eunice! Come and see. Come and look. Come and look at somebody you claim to have, to, to be unaffected by, by the rattle dazzle of the campus life. Come and look at her like a prostitute. What is wrong with what she's wearing? What is wrong with what she's wearing? This is what is in vogue now. It is what everybody is wearing. And besides, she bought it this afternoon for you. Demi, do you want her to come to your room? I don't want! I don't want her! So leave me alone! Leave me alone! Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. So, Emeka, even after promising me that you will not fight again, you went to school and fought people. You even beat people. I will not fight again. Leave me alone, you are not sorry. Please, I will never fight again. Come, Emeka. What was the meaning of all those things you were telling Daddy? Please help me get some packs. Sit down. Thank you. I summoned you here for a very good reason. Okay. Your husband has adamantly refused to take the young girl I brought for him as a wife. From the look of things, he is determined to stick with you. Uche. Ma? It is you! Who goes to mass every morning? It is you who will not let us rest in this house with your unending prayers. You are also the leader of the women in the church. Tell me, this is your God that you worship with such commitment. Where is he? I sure do. Well, it's really not bad. You're welcome. You have the prayer of children and life. Don't to me. Okay? If your mother comes back, tell her that I'm here. Yeah? Okay. Take care of yourself. Do you hear me? Okay. No, no, no. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh God, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life. 
Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Jesus, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord. My dear people of God. Can the works of the devil defeat the almighty power of God? No! Should we allow the idol, Adjuwai, to oblige the people? No! Then, let the children of God march against it. My consultation with their bishop has brought approval from that diocese. In Jesus' name, you will go and come back to the Praise the Lord!
right on in my God. Father, what is my guilt? My Lord, you have been using me to improve other people's lives. Why have you refused to improve my own? Father, why should I not be a testimony? Why should I, your servant, be miserable day in, day out while I serve you in spirit and in truth, Lord? Father, you said I should ask that when I ask, you will give me. Lord, I've been asking. I've been asking you, Lord, why have you refused to give me? Lord, you have done this before. And I know you will do it again. Lord, please do it again for me, please. God, do it again. Do it again. Do it again, God. Izuru keme chine kemo. Izuru keme o. Izuru keme o nyem jemono. Izuru keme. Jesus, Izuru keme. Chine kemo. Izuru keme o. I know you will do it for me in Jesus' name. Mrs. Zike, I hope things have improved. Yes, madam. Thank you very much. Thank madam, what is it? I think I'm having stomach upset. I need to go home now. I'll see both of you tomorrow morning after mass. Please stay. Right, madam. Yes. Take, care. Take it easy, madam. Rebecca, mm -hmm. hey, I don't know. Well, I heard what happened to you. Sorry. And since then, nobody has seen you at school. It's alright, but we are still settling down. By Monday, we're going to school. Ah, better do. It's just a fast approach now. So we have to stay in now. We are staying at our grandma's place. It's just down the road. Alright, let's go now. Since it's nice, I can see the place. The second floor, that one. This one. Alright. My dear, I have to be on my way. You'll be around tomorrow, right? Of course. By tomorrow, I'll come and see you. My guest to make out. Bye. you can you know look for the money anywhere you just look for the money I have done everything other than stealing I still no way so that's it. I promise you okay as soon as my distributor gets back from his trip okay supplies my goods I'm going to sell them off Mostly on auction, so I can get the money for you. Is that okay? Thank you. Oh, yeah. I know you're happy, though. Isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yes, I am. I know you. I know you should be. All right, come on. Tell me. What's good? Can I tell you, though? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Mom, 
morning, my dear. You are too early. Yes, Mom, I have a quiz in 30 minutes' time. Okay, my dear, have it. Mom, what is it? I have a stomach upset. What did you eat? Nothing. When did it start? This morning, oh. This is serious. My dear, just go for your lecture hey, so that you don't... Ah, oh, sorry. What is wrong with Euphemia? She's been vomiting all night and now she's running a temperature. Is she still vomiting? Uh, no. Well, it is too late to take her anywhere tonight. We'll wait tomorrow morning. We'll take her to the hospital. Uh -huh. I'm very sure it's just ordinary fever. Damien, please now. What is please now? I cannot go! Leave me alone! Alright. The kids are your children. This is their home. Gonna bring them back. Bring them back. Remember now thy creator in the days of the youth. While the evil days come not now the years draw nigh. When thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You go up and down, wasting your life, calling enjoyment. Mm. Have you asked yourself what will what? be your end? Huh? Destroying others, keep us what are you doing? What are you doing, Mama You can't get out! Out! Get out of me! Get out! Get out! Out! Out!
Nepo? Yes. Is everything all right? Oh, yes, everything is okay. I'm going to get my family. Doc, you haven't met my elder sister. You're right. This is my elder sister, Eunice. Sister, this is my very good uh, doctor friend. Mm -hmm. Good day, madam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Damien, as I was saying, mm -hmm. it's a simple malaria fever. I but see. Uh, we are running another test. That's good. Permit me to ask you a question. Is that the lady you told me about? Yes. You don't mean it. What is it? I know that lady very well. She's the prostitute. Uh, mm. She patronizes almost all the nightclubs in town. Hey! If you doubt me, I call in my doctor friend in the next room. He has performed several DRCs on her and her friends. Mama, yes. Thank you, nurse. You see what I mean? This is the result of the second test. And it says she's HIV positive. Hey! Chineke! Phineas. Phineas. me to ask you. I hope you have not had any sexual contact with that lady. Thank God. Thank God. Hey, thank God. Oh. Yeah. An accident? Yes. Who and who were involved? One man with two children. The woman and, the, and two children? Yes. Where are they now? They have taken them away. And the police have taken away the vehicle of the man that killed them to the station. making all my efforts to see that you are married to my brother for the first time in my life I thank God that I failed Mama, the told lies oh shut up the whole lie is that so why would they do that will they also fabricate a laboratory result that you are HIV positive in the process would they? Yeah. 
Jane, what is it? Daddy, please, come quickly. Mom needs immediate medical attention. Where is she? She's at the boys' quarters. Be strong, never give up. Stick to your faith. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Be strong, never give up. How Good. How you doing? When you troubles okay? come around you, and I say, never give up. When trials come around you, never, never give up, my brother. Let me hear you say, never give up. When troubles come around you, don't worry, never give up. When trials come, never, never give up, my brother. Let me hear you say, I'm very never sorry. give up. <laughs> I'm really very sorry. We can be in the rough for a night. But up. joy comes in the morning. Never keep up. Okay, we'll give me. What did you just say? Is my wife pregnant? She is pregnant. Are you very sure? Damien, she is six weeks old. So that said, I should come back and cook something for her. Ha, but I thought it was only her stomach that was paining her. How come she's uh, hospitalized? The doctor said it's a symptom of pregnancy. Pregnancy? <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Jane. Mama. I am going to ask you one favor. And you will grant it. Hmm? What favor? <laughs> Just help me push her out of this house with all pleasure. Mm -hmm. follow, follow, follow your nugget. Follow. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Push her out of me. Hey, hey. Thank you, my daughter. Hey. Now. Tell 
please now. Oh God, I thank you. Do you know how we will be able to do it? You just, you just threw me out. This morning, this morning I messed with your places. At least, you know this time time you you, you hook someone else, eh? And and I know it will be permanent this time around. Wipe your tears, my darling. Tears. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Listen Bring water, bring water. Hey, hey, feel me. Sonia, bring water. Yes, my boy. So, is it, is it the way to do it? Like this? Like this? Yeah? No. Guys, watch me carefully. It's done like this. Yeah, go on. Like this, like this, like this. Okay. Now do this. Okay. Is it like this? Yes. Like this? Yes. Is it here or here first? Yes. Here? Yes. And then here? Yes. Okay. Good daddy. Oh, yeah? I'll buy you a shave Oh, my boy. You here. Give me a knuckle, man. <laughs> What's going on here? You won't believe me, my dear. And Mecca here. Just taught me how to do the side of the cross, oh. and I did it correctly. You know what he said? No. That he was going to buy me a shaving stick. <laughs> <laughs> <Look him. laughs> no, but seriously, honey, you really need to learn it. But I just like to do it. All right, please. Let's go over the corner. Yours is just food. <laughs> All right, go ahead. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. All right. Okay. That's the con you've been longing for. I'll take the small one. This one is small. What about, have you had some pear? Oh no. Let me kiss out that. Are you sure this is what you want me to do? Yes, I'm very sure. I want you to help me and destroy him because of the hardship he put me through. I want him and his entire family destroyed. <laughs> I shall prepare to do that. Thank you, Amara. Thank you very much. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a day like this. We thank you for another everlasting promise to your children, which you have fulfilled. We thank you for the life of my sister who has returned to the village today. As we open the Bible to study it, May the Holy Spirit teach us a new thing today, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now. Open your Bible to the book of Luke. Abaladia! Abalado! Abala! He got a 
Still waters and restores my soul. He guides me through the right path, my name's sake. Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are beside me, your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is full of oil. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. <laughs> She's a weed. Thank God. Dad. Oh, thank God you are here. But you, you, you passed out and we had to rush you here. Thank God you are now on the This is a miracle. <laughs> Father, I have a testimony. Thank God, my sister. The battle has been won. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.